Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Um, I did get a haircut yesterday. I don't know if you would have noticed anyway, because I always wear my hair back in vlogs. Um, but it's really exciting because I am starting to go shopping for some Christmas decor just to fill in some gaps that I had. I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling all the pressure to get my Christmas stuff up. It's like the second week of November right now. And I feel like all of the other people who share their like decor style, like just other bloggers and content creators, had their stuff up like basically on Halloween, if not before. So I feel so behind because people keep asking when my video is going to be up. And I just like last year I did it like after Thanksgiving and I guess this year it's just not cutting it. So my main struggle right now is that last year we did do a real tree so we don't have a fake tree to, it, like the trees don't even come out until after like the real trees don't even come out until after thanksgiving so i'm struggling because i need to find a very large tree that i can pick up like i don't want to order it um that isn't like a thousand dollars because i think we'll probably invest in like a nice tree so I am trying to go to Costco and Walmart and Target and all those places to see if I can find a pretty substantial tree that's not, that's like under a thousand dollars, um, that doesn't break the bank. I still even think like, I don't really even want to spend like 500, but I feel like that's really what it's going to be, which I'm a little nervous about, but I'm going to find a tree. That's my first goal. All right. So Costco has, but I feel like we do need to like, Seven and a half for 400. This is so short. I feel like we really need like a 10 foot. This one actually doesn't look terrible. Hey guys, we just, hi, do you want to say hello? She's like super drooly, hold on, let me. Hi, are we playing? <laughs> um, we just rearranged our like den area. We're gonna move, I feel like this is like a long explanation, but we're about to move a bunch of rooms upstairs, including Shay's nursery into the current guest bedroom, which is like bigger so that we can have like her playroom upstairs. So we rearranged the downstairs like den area and we're gonna move all her toys upstairs. But let me show you what we just did because it's actually super cozy. I'm like really excited about it. Hold on. So obviously this rug is somewhat new, which is kind of what prompted us to redo everything else. Um, but this will be moved upstairs too into her play area. Although we might keep it down here because it's kind of nice to have some things down here so that she can be like with us and like playing also. Um, just got this coffee table from Target. I literally wanted something like inexpensive, but one that is just minimal, but also I thought it was really cool because I feel like when Shay gets older, we can put like a little baby chair so that she can like sit at the table and have her snacks. And because it was a little bit on the less expensive side, I wouldn't mind her like drawing or, you know, doing stuff at the table. So that was kind of the thought of that table. Um, we moved these chairs back in from our, <laughs> I know Shay wants to be in the video. 
Yeah, honey. She's about to get a bath, so she looks like a hot mess right now. Um, we moved these chairs. They were in our master bedroom. We had them in there when Shay was sleeping in there with us because we needed chairs in there to like feed her in the middle of the night. Um, but this is where they were, so we'll have to figure out some chairs to put in there at some point. But this setup, I, I really love. I'm kind of obsessed with it. And of course, we set a fire and we're watching Christmas movies. So I think we're about to set up the Christmas tree too. So I wanted to, we did not end up putting the Christmas tree together last night. And this morning, hold on, I'm trying to show you what we got. This morning we'll put it up. I think Taylor's gonna start putting it up. I'm gonna run to Target and grab some more things. Um, I just got this one from Home Depot. And I think the total was like $4.99, which is actually really cheap for a nine foot Christmas tree. So if you're looking for a nine foot Christmas tree, Home Depot had a really good one. There was only two boxes left and it was like early November. So I feel like it might be gone by the time this video goes live, but there's always next year. So we just got the nine foot. This one's pre-lit, which I didn't really care if we got a pre-lit one, but it's kind of convenient that we don't have to put lights on the tree. And it's called the Elegant Grand Fur Pre-Lit. So, all right. About to go to do some Christmas decor shopping. Just holding my baby for a minute because I think Taylor's going to watch you. You guys are going to play. You and your dad. That was so much fun. <laughs> um, so, yeah. This is just my Christmas shopping outfit. Nothing special, but I just wanted to show you guys these shoes. I just got these in recently. They're actually a men's style, but I just ordered my size in men's. So I'm a US six normally, and so I ordered a men's four and a half. And how cute are these? Been looking for these for a while. All right, let's go shopping. Alright you guys, I'm thinking about doing a trio of trees in the entryway and there's really not too much to choose from but I just was debating between whether I get a flock tree or a naked one. I think I'm just going to go with the regular green. So this is what I got. Okay, just kidding. I love these. This size is not available at the store so I might go find, try and find it at a different store but I just love how skinny and tall they are and they're pre-lit. Obsessed. I also think these are really cool. They're kind of like whimsical. I think they're only like 20. Actually, maybe they're this. No, that says gold. I think they're like 20, 25 bucks. I'm not sure. How cute. <laughs> guys we're all packed well I guess not all packed I still have to put a few things in the morning um, but we we are taking Shay's first airplane flight tomorrow we're going to visit my family in Arkansas I'm from Arkansas if you didn't know that um, so we are from Little Rock Arkansas but we are flying up to Fayetteville because my older sister and my younger brother live in Fayetteville. So Shay's first flight is tomorrow, which I'm actually, I feel pretty calm about because I feel like Shay is typically a really good baby. So we'll see how the airplane ride goes. I'm going to try and pack like bottles so that she's like eating on the way up and on the way down, which I've heard is a good tip so that their, their ears don't like depressurize um, so that they don't get uncomfortable. Um, but 
I'm trying to bring not a lot of stuff and if you guys know me I am an over packer I like to have options I like to feel comfortable and like knowing that I've packed more than I really need um, but I'm not over packing this time because I have to show you I'm sharing a full bag with Shay and that includes like all of her food stuff here I'll just show you so this is like my big suitcase, it's just one of those bigger ones, um, and it's really cold up in Fayetteville right now, so that's another somewhat tough situation because I'm packing a bunch of like sweaters and just like thicker items, um, but let me open this. So if you look on this side, this is like all of Shay's stuff, I'm trying to confine all her stuff to one side. So we have like all of her clothes and her pajamas and stuff. I actually have these like packing cubes underneath and then these are just like bulky sweaters and stuff. Um, and then I have like some medicine and bath time stuff right there. Um, I am bringing some medicine in her diaper bag too that she, just in case we need it. Um, food stuff, so like what she's gonna eat, her purees and stuff on, um, diapers. I think I've mentioned this before, but Shay has really bad reflux, so we always travel with like, not even travel, just in day-to-day -day occurrence. We need a mountain of burp cloths and bibs. Like, I'm gonna have to probably do laundry like every day there. Like, she will probably go through all of these each day. So, you know, I will take it though, because she was healthy in every other way as a premature baby. But then I have some extra bottles, some bottle parts down there, and then her formula. So tomorrow I just have to pack like the formula mixer, which is just a, we just have like a pitcher. We didn't do anything fancy. Um, and yeah, and pack some bottles with like pre-made milk and stuff, which will go in her diaper bag, which is right there. But the one challenge for me is that I'm trying to only take her diaper bag on like as my carry-on item. And I have to bring two laptops because I have one, I'm still gonna work when I'm up there, so I'm gonna have my work laptop and I have like my side job content creation laptop because I hope to get some videos edited and uploaded while I'm up there. So hopefully be able to do that. I have been procrastinating, but we'll see. Um, which I think Taylor's gonna carry those in his work bag. So he's gonna have to carry three different laptops and I'll just have all of Shay's stuff. But, um, we're gonna take her stroller through the airport, her car seat base. But other than, like I really don't think it's gonna be that complicated. I used to travel for work back in the day as a consultant. So um, those of you who are consultants know that you travel so much when you are a consultant. I was going to like two to three cities a week. So it's just like hopping from plane to plane. So traveling doesn't really give me anxiety. I mean, the flight itself, the older I get, I get kind of anxious about it. Um, and I feel like now that I have a baby, I'm gonna get even more anxious about it just because I don't want anything to happen to me because of her, um, which plans are so safe. It's just like a mental thing. It's like growing as I get older, I get more anxious about like the actual flights. But the logistics of traveling, I feel like is like, it doesn't bother me. So I'm like not worried necessarily about taking her and going through the airport and all that stuff because it's, I just kind of view it as like an extra long trip somewhere. Like, you know how you just like drive home from work? It's kind of like driving home from work, but you're just going a little bit further. <laughs> it's like kind of how I viewed it. So yeah, I'm excited to take her and see how she does on an airplane for the first time. Um, we are gonna go on another airplane next week. We're gonna go visit um, some family in Houston, Texas. So we're gonna do that next week, but Shay will be a pro by then, so I'm not, you know, as worried about the next flight. Okay, so I'm about to put this tinsel up and I just opened the package and realized, I think I might have bought the wrong kind. It's like connected at the top. So I'm gonna try and cut the top off and then see if it even looks good in this tree. Do you need help cutting? Oh, 
but before you do that, let me show you this. How do you have such a hard time cutting, babe? Did you get it all? Can I show you this really quick so you can tell me if this is doable? I mean, it's doable, but... I just, can I make one comment? <laughs> sure. If you go the tinsel route, it's pretty much never coming out. Like, it's going to okay. be in there forever. See, I feel like he has way more tinsel than just these two packs. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know how much was in the pack. This isn't tinsel, by the way. This is like... That's what this is. So what do I do? Not use it. That looks really cool. You need ten times what you have. <laughs> yeah, like that doesn't look good. Maybe I'm just putting it on wrong. Oh man. I say just pull it off and just do decorations this year and you can figure out next year. Like this well then not... maybe I'll just keep it a naked tree and I'll do decorations on the other tree. I like that it's naked. No, it needs like some ornaments. It needs to be filled in. Like look at this gap where you can just see this fake ass pole. <laughs> I'm really sad. I still might try and do it. Okay. I, I don't know if we're, if we're having a disconnect, but this is not tinsel. This is like it is decoration uh, streamers. No, no, it's tinsel. I ordered it as tinsel. It's just I didn't realize it came as like a strand. I feel like if I, so I only, obviously only did those bottom branches. I feel like if I did this, filled it in for the entire tree, it might look cool but it also looks kind of messy. I just don't know if I could pull it off. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like that doesn't look good to me. I feel like I need to do a little bit more research and look into it a little bit more and then potentially try again next year. I just made it to the airport and I have like her carrier already strapped to me, but Taylor has her luggage. And we have the baby. So let's go. Just like what have it, our bag was overweight. So we were just sitting there trying to like maneuver. Because I packed my stuff and Shay's stuff together. And um, and like we have like her food and, and diaper wipes and like all the heavy stuff, which won't be on the way back because she'll have eaten it. Um, but we just stuff it all in Taylor's backpack, so now we just have a lot on the plane. We just made it through security. <laughs> she did really good. I think we were a little bit like frazzled just because everyone behind you is frazzled. It's like the energy in the special assistance line is like crazy. Hey guys, we just got back from Arkansas. Hobbs, you're standing where I want to sit. Sorry, bud. And I just ordered some clothes for Shay from H&M. She's like starting to grow out of her other stuff. So I ordered some neck size up clothes. She's on the smaller side. So she has been in three month clothes from H&M, but I'm actually, I just ordered some um, on the six month scale. So. She's about, she's actually seven months now, but she's small. So we're gonna open up, open them up, and I'll show you what we got. Okay. Sorry if you hear Hobbs like snorting in the background. He's 
just being a psychopath. <laughs> so, I feel like H&M has really good just like baby basics um, for a very inexpensive like price point. Um, she's, I mean babies pretty much ruin <laughs> a lot of clothes. I don't want to say all babies, I won't speak for all babies, but my baby, Shay, has really bad reflux, so she's constantly spitting up, just constantly, like that's just like end of it. And um, it's getting a lot better though. They said once she is able to sit up and is eating solids, her spit up won't be as bad, which is true, it's getting a lot better, but it's still, she still spits up quite a bit. Um, so she does ruin a lot of her clothes, and I feel like h and is just like a good, like, go-to store for her. I have, I know, bud. Um, so the, I like to buy her sets. I just like love when pants match the top, whether it's like exactly the same color or pattern. And h and has these really cute, just like ribbed pants and bodysuit sets. Um, and I had this in one size smaller and like a, it was like beige and polka dot and it was really cute. But I thought this like mauve color was really cool too. So we picked this up. Okay, so this next thing that I wanna show you, I am obsessed with. I literally stock their website for her size because they're always sold out. And I didn't wanna get the, the set of grays, but they didn't have literally any other color except for grays in her size. Um, so of course I got the grays because I at least wanted her to have something, but it's like a pants, pants and bodysuit set just like I showed you before, but these are like basics. So I just love these pants. These are my favorite pants that I found like baby pants wise. They fold over and I've noticed that they're not like tight. Like you know how sometimes when baby pants are tight, you, they just like kind of look like they're digging into the baby a little bit. Um, and their belly just kind of hangs over, which is so cute, but they just kind of look uncomfortable. So these types of pants don't really do that. Um, and I just like loved it, right? You like these pants? Yeah, you do. I love you. You want to sit with me while I open the rest of these? Um, so this comes in a set and their wrap over bodysuits are also some of my favorite. I also like the Carter's Simple Joy um, wrap over bodysuits. I feel like there is a distinction between that. Theirs are like really thick. Um, these, one are, these ones aren't as thick as the Simple Joys, but they are also like a really nice material. So we got that and that one, this set is just the gray set. So it comes in like the lighter gray, the darker gray, and an all white, which Shay's always in all white, so it kind of worked out. So this is the next thing. It's just another pack of these wrap over bodysuits in white. And then I got these super cute knit pants. They have like, here, do you wanna lay back down and look at your book? Why don't you sit? And we can look at this. Um, These like knit pants. These actually look huge, so I don't know when Shay's gonna be able to fit into these. So we'll see. These look really big for her size, but they are very cute. Here's another set. Like I said, you guys know I love to have the pants match the top exactly. So this one's like a beige, not a beige, it's like a dusty pink ribbed one. Another one of those wrap over ones. This is a really cute like knit set that goes together. And it's just in this like, mauve like purpley color this next set is this like quilted it's like a quilted cotton material and it comes with a sweatshirt and pants which i think is so cute so can't wait for that you want to play you want to do some things so i'm gonna go play with her for a bit and yeah that's what we're doing for the rest of the evening
guys, I finally got an appointment with Chelsea at Skin Farm in Atlanta. And um, yeah, we're about to do some microneedling, which is like my go-to. I pretty much do it every time I come here. But I officially get to get Botox again. I'm back on the train. I'm no longer breastfeeding or pumping, so this is like, uh, this is what I've come for. I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, I, they're gonna do my chest as well today. So it's like it'll be face and chest, and then also like the blood, right? Yeah, we're gonna do PRP. PRP. Okay. Let rich plasma to stimulate some collagen. Yeah. So we're gonna do all of that. So all the things, and hopefully I'll walk away fresh again. We gotta get some products as well. So anyway, let's get started. Okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I can do it, I just can't think about it. I'm like, can't look at it, can't think about mm -hmm. it. Ever tell you when I first got my blood drawn? Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> my, no. my dad's a doctor, so like uh -huh. obviously this is like normal for him. And uh -huh. um, he's a radiologist, but he was like there at the hospital for, for my first time. I was like 18. I wasn't <laughs> young. Yeah. Like, it was like, like you were an adult. adult. Yeah. Yeah. And I just had to do like blood work and I was like freaking out. I was like, Dad, I'm so scared. Like I've never gotten my blood drawn before. And all he said to me was, suck it up and laugh and walked out of the room. I was like, Thanks, you're Dad. Like, I'm terrified. Yeah. to show you the day two results of microneedling and I also just wanted to end this vlog but I'm just laying here on I'm actually in my office um just laying here with Shay are you happy <laughs> um we're about to actually start rearranging her room I think I've mentioned this before but we're going to be moving her bedroom her current nursery which is in like the smallest room that we have upstairs. We're gonna move it into the biggest room that we have upstairs so that we can have her nursery and a play area. So like half of it will be like the exact setup that we have currently. And then we're gonna have some like a play area kind of on the front half. Um, we got her some Christmas stuff, like toys for Christmas. So we just wanna have like a place where she can play. Um, so that's what we're about to do tonight. But I did wanna show you guys the I guess day two, I have zero makeup on. You can't wear makeup for 24 hours after microneedling. Um, and it already looks good. Like it already looks like tighter. I did get Botox, so like that's part of it. Like obviously like if you get Botox, your skin looks a little bit more smooth. That's the point of Botox, of course. Um, but yeah, I mean this is microneedling day two. My skin's not very even, so just ignore that, but this is pretty much what you get, so smooth, tight. The next thing I need to work on is evening out my skin tone and I will be perfect. Anyway, I'm going to end this vlog. We are gonna start moving those rooms around but I'll show you guys that on another vlog. Um, I hope you guys are having a good one and I will talk to you later.